Good morning, guys. Hope you're having an awesome Monday. So today is my follow-up for my tonsillectomy. Remember, I had my tonsils took out. So it's been two months. So I have to let them know what they're going to, you know, they have to check in on you and make sure. So I'll let you guys know that everything went well. I'm healed. Um, no pain. I'll see you guys soon. Toodles. So I'm in the back waiting for Pam to come in. And I'll let y'all guys know when I am perfectly fine. Toodles. Okay, so that's it. Case closed. No more appointment to see specialists. I got everything taken care of. Uh, my tonsillectomy, everything went perfect. Everything is good. So no more pain, no more tonsil stones. And I am off. Hope you guys have a great day. So everything is done. Went perfect. Toodles. The last thing I forgot to add to the video. So, um, he did say that, if you guys remember, when I got hospitalized maybe three years ago, and I went and had a dental procedure done, and I had wind up contracted sepsis, um, because they didn't give me antibiotic, and the nasty bacteria made it into my butt. So, when, um... When they did the pathologist, when they did the testing and whatever, they it wasn't cancer, but my tonsils was enlarged. And he said they was full of, uh, they was inflamed and had a lot of infections. And uh, it was, I was exposed to some form of bacteria. And I told him, I said, do you think it could be that sepsis? He said, absolutely. Yeah, that sepsis could have did that. So the great thing about it, he said, I would never get those tonsil stones again because I was getting severe genos moving. I was getting severe pain, sore throat, and, and kept getting tonsil stones and stuff like that, back to back to back. So I wanted to say to anybody else, if y'all get those tonsil stones all the time, and, um, you know, everybody's surgery is not an option. Mine was to the point where I was, um, because I got exposed to septus, and then I kept getting them tonsil stones in my throat and all this type of stuff. So every time I get it inflamed really, really bad to go to the hospital and get antibiotic shots or get put on antibiotics because I was exposed to septus due to a dental procedure. So mine could have been life threatening. So when people say, why did you get your tonsils out at your age? Because I kept getting chronic tonsil stones and sore throat and scrap and all that. I know I didn't pronounce that right. So that's why I was, uh, they had to take them out because I was constantly going and eventually my body probably would have shut down from antibiotics because I think if you continue to take antibiotics, your body will reject them. So that's why I wind up getting my tonsils removed. But yes, that had everything to do because I know I never had tonsil stones and was going through all that until I came in contact with septus. I never saw nothing white on the back of my throat. So if you guys are opening your mouth and you're having a sore throat and you look all the way in the back of your throat and you see these white things on your tonsils, those are tonsil stones. Take some uh, peroxide and warm water and goggle and goggle and that'll help loosen them up where they will come out and different stuff like that. But yeah, so that that gave me a lot of relief with the tonsil stone using warm water and peroxide to dissolve the tonsil stone. But now I would never get those again because my tonsils is removed and they got all that nasty bacteria because they was lodged, launched to my tonsils. So now that it's gone, he said, I shouldn't have any of those problems anymore. So I, so my uh, stuff with the ear, nose, and throat is finally done. <laughs> no more ear, nose, and throat. So all that is clear. So I just want to let you guys know that you guys have an awesome day. So that was a final follow-up. I forgot to tell y'all that. But yeah, so uh, other than that, I am fine. Uh, and, and, and I was the first 50-year-old out, out, of, out of him doing surgery to have this surgery, he said everybody else had, like when you're older, they say the pain, you be in a lot of pain. He said everybody was in severe pain. So when I got ready to get it, he said, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest. You're going to be in so much pain, you know. So they gave me uh, Oxycontin and I didn't even have to take that because I wasn't in pain like that. So I told him, I said, I'm the first 50 year old not to have he's like wow that is awesome he said that's not heard of he said normally i've been doing surgeries a lot and i ain't never heard nobody say that they didn't experience absolutely no pain i said i didn't uh first day my pain was three four zero <laughs> so y'all watch me on the journey of my tonsillectomy he was like i said so you got to tell the uh 
anesthesiologist and other people that helped on the surgery he was like i'm gonna hook you up you're gonna feel real good tell him he said well, that's awesome he said you know well, i'm glad to go back and report to him i said yeah i'm the first <laughs> so with that being said you guys have an awesome monday today is raining really bad today is one of those days off i'm gonna relax and manifest and you guys have an awesome day toodles